So in the series of learning programming in C, we are discussing pointers in C. So far we have discussed basics of pointers as well as pointer arithmetic like what kind of arithmetic operations we can perform on pointer addition, subtraction and increment and decrement. We are left with one operation that is comparison of two pointers that also we will discuss but before that in this video I am going to discuss a technical question. This is this type of questions are very important and these are these questions are very tricky also. Very simple but very tricky. If you get see these kind of questions when you combine this this uh, increment decrement operator as well as this indirection operator. So this these type of questions are very tricky generally asked in interviews. So these are very simple you have to just concentrate and if you know the working of this increment decrement operator and indirection operator as well as their precedence and associativity that we have discussed in the previous videos. So you can check out the, those videos first right then you will easily get it there is nothing much in this these are not so tough right yeah but little bit tricky question these are. So first of all discuss this question right. We will see uh, what output you are getting and how you are getting that output and after that I will give you one question for your assignment. You have to try that question at your own and also we will see practical right. I will show you this code on my laptop also on VS Code Editor. So now let us discuss this problem. Here we have one array. These are the elements in this array. Two pointers I have P and Q. In P I have initialized P is equal to A. A is name of array and name of array is containing base address of array. Suppose base address I am taking 100. So next element will, would be at 104, 108 like this because integer I am uh, taking that uh, uh, will take 4 bytes right. So in A, in P we have now 100. So now P is pointing to here the first element right. So now at first if you will print, print a percentage D asterisk P, asterisk P means P is indirection operator here. Here it is not indirection operator because here we are declaring pointers. But in declaration it is not acting as indirection pointer after that if you will use here like asterisk and pointer name. At, at that time it is acting as dereferencing operator or indirection operator and it means it will give value at this address. So at, in P we have 100 value at 100 is 10. So this line this line will give you 10 right. So first you will get answer 10. Now second line here I am printing 3 times this see this is very important. So now see here we are having operators like this operator plus plus increment operator as well as indirection operator right and these operators are having what associativity right to left. So they will be executed from they will uh, start executing from this this side right to left. So first of all this would be executed right. So now see first is asterisk plus plus p now first of all this would be executed one we, we have asterisk plus plus p. So this would be executed this is pre increment pre increment means first of all the value would be modified in p I have 100 increment means now p is pointing to here now in p we have 104 p is not pointing to this right because it is pre increment and now asterisk this one. Now asterisk means whatever the value at this address 104 we have what value 11 so it will give you 11. So it will give you 11. Now this this one. Now here we have asterisk p plus plus right. So now this is what post increment. So first the original value it will return the original value whatever the value in p original value in p is now 104. And now it will increment. So now p is pointing to here. Now in p we have 108 right. But asterisk at 104 asterisk operation would be applied here means indirection operator would be applied here. So value at 104 is 11. So it will also give you 11 right. Now p is pointing to here. Now see yeah this 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 thing is very important now asterisk p is in bracket and now we have plus plus. So now it will brackets are having higher precedence. So first of all this would be executed not this increment operator this you need to take care. Now it will return what asterisk p first this would be executed now asterisk p p in p we have 108 whatever value at 108 it will return that value 108 we have minus 1 so it will return minus 1. Because it is post increment first of all it will return the value whatever there at p and now it will increment the value not the address 
this you need to take care at this now we have what minus 1 we have so now this plus plus would be applied to this value not this pointer because we are putting this in bracket so now here value becomes 0 this thing is very important I hope this is clear to you so now here at the place of minus 1 we have 0 and it will return minus 1 right but now and p is still pointing to here see we haven't we haven't done anything with p with this address because plus plus is applied to this value now not to the pointer so now if you will after this line if you will print asterisk p so what value it will print in p we have 108 and at 108 we have now 0 so it will return 0 right we have no more minus 1 here we have at the place of minus 1 we have now 0 right minus 1 is no more here in array right but here it will give minus 1 now next is q is equal to p plus 3 now q is a pointer p plus 3 p plus 3 means in pointer we are adding 3 it means p pointer would be you know incremented we will we'll move forward 3 position so 1 2 3 so in q whatever the value 1 1 0 to what what is the address 120 that would be stored right so now q is pointing to here now we are printing asterisk q minus 3 right asterisk q minus 3 obviously asterisk is having higher precedence than, than this subtraction operation so first of all this would be executed whatever the value at q 120 what is the value 5 5 minus 3 that is 2 so it will give you 2 now next is this one so now next asterisk minus minus p plus 5 now here also uh, rather than plus these are having higher precedence but both are having same precedence so associativity would be right to left so first of all right to left means when we once we move right to left this operator will come first so pre decrement would be executed first now it is pre decrement so now p first of all would be decremented so 108 but now after decrement p is pointing to here so now in p i have 104 now whatever the value at 104 asterisk would be this direction operator would be applied where value is 11 and plus 5 now in 11 we are going to plus 5 so it will give you what 16 so it will give you 16 right now this way value asterisk p plus asterisk q obviously asterisk are having higher precedence than this plus so you can do it right to left also or left to right because obviously you have to do plus only so now asterisk q q is pointing to here asterisk q is 5 plus now p is pointing to 104 here 11 11 plus 5 is 16 so it will give you 16 so this output you will get or let me show you practically whether you are getting this output or not let, let me write down this code on my vs code editor but before that one assignment for you right one question so this is question for you please try run this program first don't just jump on your laptop and just try to write down this code and see what output you are getting and after that you understand yeah how we are getting that output no that's not correct way if you want to learn if you want to know get clear with this concept don't touch your laptop first just the, uh, note down this question on your I know maybe notebook or any on anywhere any paper and try run this one check what output you will get here right then after getting the output then run it on your laptop and see the output you are getting is same or not or if not then again check why you are not getting that output and if you are not still not getting then you can ask me in comment box right so I, I guess you, you, you can take the screenshot and you can just note it down right now let me show you practical whatever we have discussed the question we have discussed here in this video right so now see this is the question we have this is the array two pointer we have p and q in p i have a and this is you want to print same that we have discussed on the whiteboard right now let me show you the output let me run it whether we are getting the same output that we have discussed or not see see first printf should give 10 obviously asterisk p we are printing in next we are getting minus 1 11 11 right and that that's exactly we have discussed right 
next q is equal to p plus 3 and now star q minus 3 that is giving you 2 5 minus 3 that is 2 next is giving you 16 and this line is also giving you 16 i hope you are get, getting getting because we have discussed this right and now we are getting the same output whatever we have discussed so now i have given you one assignment also you have to write at your own and then run on your laptop and see you are getting the correct output or not right and see if you have any doubt like if you are not getting see after this line suppose print f three times i am printing this right so if you are confused like after this line where the p would be pointing so after that simply you can print print f percentage d the value like asterisk p what value you are getting in this array and you will get that pointer is pointing to at, at that location right now right see here you can check this okay let me try run this sorry let me run this again see after this line we are getting 0 after this line in p we are getting 0 but if now you will say that 0 we do not have 0 in this array so this is not correct why you are getting 0 because here here after executing this thing it, it is giving you minus 1 original value but now minus 1 would become 0 that I have told you and now after that if you will print asterisk p p is pointing to here minus 1 only but there is no minus 1 in array now we have 0 now at the place of minus 1 that is why it is printing 0 so now p is pointing to at this location okay. but here we have 0 so if you have any doubt you can also uh, you can just print the address right at starting you can print the address in uh, you know that um, unsigned integer form and in anywhere between the program you can just print the address so that you will get where pointer p is you know pointing what address in p we have if you have any doubt right so i guess that's it for this video now so that's it for this video now i'll see you now in the next video till then bye bye take care